Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Teacher Dai and you are watching a Grade 1 Maths lesson brought to you by Worksheet Cloud. It's so nice to have you here with me today. I'm really missing the children in my class, so thank you for joining me. Okay, shall we do some maths? Let's get started. If you have any questions while I'm talking, you ask mum and dad to send an email to the address on your screen, grade1 at worksheetcloud.com, and I'll do my best to answer it in my next lesson. Right, let's get started. This is a grade one maths lesson, and today's topic is bonds of six. Do you know what that means? What are bonds? Okay, well, we're going to figure that out. Let's count. Can you count with me to 30? Are you ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Very good. Let's count backwards. Let's start at 20 and then we'll count backwards just in ones. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Blast off. That's what my grade ones always say at the end. Okay. Have a look on your screen. You'll see there's an egg box. Can you tell me how many eggs are in that egg box? Let's count them together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There are always six eggs in an egg box like that. We call it half a dozen. Have you ever heard that expression? Okay, well today we're learning all about the number six. So here comes the number on your screen, six. Do you know the word six? Here it is. Can you say it with me? Six. Six. So here we've got the number six, and here's the number name, six. And that's what we're going to be learning all about today. Here's a number line. Have you seen one of those in your classroom? You can count all the way from naught all the way up. My one goes up to 10. Now, can you spot our number for the day? There we go. Number six. Let's count from naught. Let's hop. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well done. What number comes before six? Five, that's right. What number comes after six? Seven. Good job. Okay, let's learn some more things about the number six. What is half of six? So here we've got six dots, maybe six smarties, and we want to share them in half. We chop it in half. And how many on one side? Three. So now we know half of six is three. What is double six? Do you know what double means? So say we've got those six Smarties, then we say six plus six, and that will give us double. So let's make another row. There's six plus six, and how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So double six is twelve. Well done. Okay, now I have a story to tell you. It's about a hotel keeper. Now this hotel manager has worked out there's only enough hot water for six guests on every floor. So on the top floor he can only have six people staying there at one time otherwise they'll run out of hot water. The same on the next floor and the next one and the next one only six guests okay. This is hotel number six. So someone the manager has already booked in one guest on the top floor. How many more guests can he have? Remember, there can only be six on that floor and there's already one. So how many more? Can you figure it out? Five. 
because 1 and 5 makes 6. If there's one guest in this room and five in that room, on that floor there's six. Whew, good, they're all going to have enough hot water. Okay, the next floor. The manager has already booked in two guests, so how many can stay in that room? We've got two guests in the one room, so how many in the other room? Remember, we can only have six. Four, that's right. There we go. Okay, the next floor. We've got three guests booked in. How many in the next side? Three, because three and three makes six. Okay, we've got four in this bedroom, so how many on that side? Two. Well done. On this level, we've got five guests booked in already, so how many can go in this bedroom? One. One and five makes six. On the bottom floor, we've got six booked into this room, so how many can we book into this room? None. We're full up on that floor. There won't be any hot water left. So naught. So six and naught make six. Okay, very good. Now let's try that again. This time we're going to think of a sum. So on the top floor we've got one guest staying in the bedroom. And in the next bedroom, how many did we say our lip can stay over here if there's going to be enough hot water? One plus five. So let's turn that into a sum. 1 plus 5 equals 6. This is what we call bonds of 6. That means the sums that make up 6. So there we've got 1. 1 plus 5 equals 6. Let's do the next one. What plus 4 will give us 6? 2 in that bedroom. Right. 2 plus 4 equals 6. Or 4 plus 2. It's the same. doesn't matter which way around you put them here. Next row. We've got three in this bedroom, so we need three over there. Can you tell me the sum? Right, three plus three equals six. You're doing so well. Let's try and make a sum for the next one. We've got four in this bedroom, two in that one. So what's our sum? Two plus four equals six. Great. And over here we've got five guests. So how many in this bedroom? Only one. There we go. Let's make the sum. 1 plus 5, or 5 plus 1 equals 6. Great. And the last one, we've got 6 guests in the bottom room over there. So did you remember how many more can we accommodate? None. Hey, well, they're going to run out of hot water. So, naught. There we've got 6 plus naught equals 6. I don't know if you've seen this kind of sum in your classroom at school, but teachers love to do this. It's a little trick we like to play. You're used to the answer that you need to fill in being on that side of the equal sign over here. But sometimes we like to leave out the numbers all over the show, but you're not going to get confused here. You're going to think of this hotel. One plus what equals six? Have a look at the bedrooms. One plus five equals six. You see, it's not actually confusing. We're playing a little trick, but you're not going to fall for it, hey? Okay, let's have a look at this one. Hmm, plus four equals six. Have a look at our hotel rooms. Two plus four. Well done. Next one. Three plus three equals six. Next one. Two plus four equals six. And then we've left out a space plus four. 5 equals 6. What are we going to fill in here? 1. Awesome. Last row. 6 plus hmm equals 6. That's right. Naught. And these are all the bonds of 6. Those are all the numbers that you can use to make up 6. Very good. Now that we've figured that out, let's try some word problems. Now these word problems it's just another way of saying a sum. So we're using some letters and some words to make up a math sum. So don't get confused. Listen really carefully. Lily needs six eggs to bake a cake. She only has four. How many more eggs must Lily buy? So let's make some notes. You must always draw out what you're thinking in your head. It helps so much. So let's go again. Lily needs six eggs. I'm going to write the number 6 there. She only has 4. Let's draw the 4 eggs. 
I always say to my grade ones, we're not doing RT drawings now. These are maths drawings. So I suggest you just use shapes. So for an egg, I'm just going to use a circle. It's quick. I'm doing maths. I'm not trying to decorate my um, story sum. I'm just doing some four circles to make up the four eggs. And the question is, how many more eggs must Lily buy? Remember, she wants six. So what do you think? We need to add one, two, three, four. Four plus what will give us six? Four plus two. So the answer is, the question was, how many more eggs must Lily buy? The answer is two eggs. Very good. Let's try another one. Sam has one marble. He finds five more marbles. How many marbles does Sam have now? So let's write it up. Sam has one marble. There's my marble. He finds five more marbles. There we go. How many does he have now? Do you remember your bonds of six? One and five make six. So now these are easy for us. And what was the question? Let's remind ourselves. How many marbles does Sam have now? So the answer is six marbles. Well done. Okay, last one. I lost six socks. This always happens to me. I found three. How many socks must I still find? Right, I've lost six socks. They are my six socks, but I have found three of them so far. How many do I still need to find? Do you remember your bonds of six? Three plus what will give me a total of six? Three plus three. Well done. We still need to find three socks. You guys are superstars. You did so well and you've learned so much in that short lesson. I'm so proud of you. Why don't you ask your mom or dad to download the activity that matches this lesson. It's up on worksheetcloud.com and you ask them to download it for you and you go and work out a few of your own math sums. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this grade one lesson on maths brought to you by Worksheet Cloud. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did and I'll see you tomorrow.